Oh shit. What could it be? It's... 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 What the fuck is it? I'm gonna skip this. It's Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke! Whoa! What is happening everybody? My name is Glyscore101 and welcome to Glyscore Plays Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke Edition. We here, we in it, it's been a long time. Nearly been a year since I last did the Fire Red Nuzlocke and honestly, I just kind of want to get back to it. Want to get back on my bullshit. Um, Nuzlocke's are a lot of fun, I was debating whether to do this for a while now, and it's just like, it's fun. So let's just jump in and have some fucking fun. I don't need to know shit, I am a seasoned adventurer. Da 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 da. Interesting dots. Oh, reading a fucking book, aren't you classy? Because Professor Elm was too boring to introduce this game. We got fucking Oak back in the house. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Yes, we know you're Oak. Literally everybody knows you're Oak. How... Where would Oak stack in terms of most recognizable characters in the Pokemon world? Like, excluding Pokemon, because Pokemon are super recognizable, it's gotta be like Ash, Misty, Brock. Then would it be Oak? Because, like, Oak is in a lot of fucking episodes of Pokemon, but it's really sporadic. It's like he'll be in every 50 episodes once. So he's been long lasting, but he just is never in the forefront for very long. Are we a boy or a girl? I haven't actually... Hmm. I do like the boy sprite more. I'm gonna go... Uh, I wish I had, like, a coin to flip. You know, I'm gonna go girl. Fuck it. I think the girl sprite is worse, but just because I was a boy last time. And this is the story of a girl. Who got a river and dry on the whole world. What does she look like? She got pigtails. Jeez. Got overalls. Good old fashioned cowgirl. Yeehaw. Bertha. No, that's a weird name for a ten year old. That's that's the fucking maid from Two and a Half Men. Hmm. Man, I, I did not put any consideration into a name. I cannot think of anything except Bertha. Penelope. Pen. L. O. Shit. Let's fucking do this game. Make it the same back with the. Pillow lip. Pillow. Pillow leap. Pillow leap. Nailed it. Yeah, that's the name. Pillow lip. It sounds like a British brand of candy. I'm just gonna call her Pal. She's our Pal. Call her Pep for short. Good old Pep. Get some Pep in your step. 
She's so fucking ashamed of her name. Just like, Palolob, you're, you're here. And it's like, don't fucking call me that. Do not call me by my slave name. I am Pep. Yes, I know where the lab is. There's like four buildings in this fucking town. Pep just wants to get right the fuck out of Dodge. Like, she is sick of Nubark Town. She is sick of her mom. She's sick of all this shit. Sick of living in a house where she's just got... What has she got? She's just got a Nintendo Wii. That's practically child abuse. Also, I didn't check... Ethan, what the fuck? I love Pokemon. Man, I'm so glad that's there instead of like a fucking potion or something. Jeez. First things first, um, let's put that to fast. And now let's, let's go to one of the only other, but oh, it's night time. To be fair, I am playing this at night, but I had no idea whether the time would actually keep up accurately. I had no reason to believe it would. Meryl's pretty fucking cute. And Azumarail is a fucking monster. Who the hell are you? Huh? Huh, punk? What are you doing? This is my town. This is Pep's territory. You wanna stand here? You gotta pay the toll. Huh? Okay, I probably deserve to that. Fine. Let's go see the fucking professor. Hey, Blulup. Don't call me that. Sure, I'm totally gonna walk beside this Pokemon at all times. It's totally not just gonna be whoever happens to be at the front of my party at any given moment. We're really, we're really fucking with the data here. He's like saying, oh, I really want you guys to do this as like a science experiment to see how raising Pokemon differently works. But then we're just like, eh, fuck it. I'll just have whoever at the front of my party come out. I don't give a fuck. Alright, we're gonna choose one of our Pokemon. As I did last time, I'm going to use my trainer ID. So, how does it work? 1 to 3 grass. 1 to 3 grass. 4 to 6 water. No, 4 to 6 fire. 7... Yeah, 4 to 6, fire, 7 to 9, water, yeah. You get it. 1, ah, oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. I really didn't want to do this. Look at that fucking cool cyndaquil, cool last totodile, and then this. Yeah, sure. I guess it's as good a time as any to bring up the elephant in the room. TFS has recently started a Nuzlocke. And I was like, uh, should I do it since they've started a Nuzlocke? And of course most of my audience comes from TFS. But then I was like, nah, screw it, I'll just do it. And then now we get this. Knock off Mr. Steak. We'll call you... Let's see, it's a grass dinosaur looking thing. <laughs> it's a stem... Asaurus. Guys. Guys, because it's a grass dinosaur. Stemosaurus. Stem. Stemosaur. How the hell? Stemosaur. I'm doing this fucking joke. Stemosaurus, yes! C 
gonna block it. This house is in Cherry Grove, got it. Also, look at how fucking ugly the, like, frickin' Chikorita Sprite is. It is hideous. Right, keep sniffing me, that's not creepy. What the hell do you want? Alright, that's helpful. I'll take it. I'm gonna hesitate, I kind of hope this thing dies. I feel like this might be, because I'm trying to avoid TFS comparisons, this might be the first time I actively box a starter. Ugh, fine, I'll go back to my slave home to show this to mom. What kind of parent names their child Pelop? Right, Stamosaurus? That's a great name. That's why fucking Pep keeps giving all of her Pokemon such fucked up names. Because her name is Pelolop, and she doesn't know what normal names are. Yes. I totally know. No. I didn't mean to talk to you. I never mean to talk to you. Mom! Should I say, S Linda? Cause you're not my real mom. We're in a fight. Also, what do you want, you balding motherfucker? Man, Pep is just, Pep is just sick of everybody's shit. Just wants to take Stemosaurus and get out of here. We're just gonna get out. We're just running. Nobody can catch us. Nobody can catch us. Man, nobody caught us. I think there's a potion up this way. So we'll like sneak. Sneaky. 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 Oh shit. Man, are we gonna make it to this? Because. First off, I'll, I'll say this if this is Baby's first Nuzlocke for anyone. Here are the rules of a Nuzlocke. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can only catch the first Pokemon on each route. The first Pokemon on each route catch rule, that doesn't come into effect until after I get Pokeballs. So, those are the rules we're playing by. Also, nickname everything, it's kind of an unofficial rule. But, yeah, I'll play by it. Let's tackle the shit out of this hoot hoot. Actually, benefits from starting at night, we might be able to catch a hoot hoot. Do you have the foresight to predict your... murder? I guess you did. Good job, Stemosaurus. Oh my god. Another level 2 art Oh jeez. Die slowly. Actually, you know what? Die fastly. Die ghastly. Ghastly, ghastly ship from the past year coming right at you like someone dastardly. I can't rap all that well, but I'm gonna try because what the hell. Oh, thank god, the battle's over. Oh. Oh. Um. Um, um, we're just gonna ignore this and see if it goes away. You know, it's an old cartridge. 
After all this time, you expect there to be some glitches. We'll just take care of this hoot hoot. It's probably these hoot hoots, you know, with their hypnosis. Probably messing with our vision. Ignore the fact that they actually ha don't have hypnosis yet. Just, just ignore it. That's what I do. That's how I sleep at night. Hey, we're level 6. Hey, buddy. Oh, damn, you get Razor Leaf, like, straight away. So if that happens, we're just gonna ignore it. Teach me all the things, random old Master Roshi looking motherfucker. We're so slow compared to this old man. Uh, why? Come on, Scamosaurus. Let's go. We did it. And we're just gonna press this button, because there's no reason not to in this game. Just gonna be fucking running everywhere. I guess you could say that old man put a little bit of pep in our step. Thank you, thank you. And now I'm gonna take a refreshing gulp of my Pepsi. Usually, I don't drink on camera or, like, microphone or whatever, but since I actually was fucking drinking Pepsi, it worked out. Ah, oh, it's the map. 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 So, fun fact about New Zealand, um... Probably most people knowing, but for those who don't know, uh, indigenous people of New Zealand, uh, the Maori people, uh, we kind of fucked them over language-wise, so a lot of their language has been kind of fading in the last few decades. It's kind of getting a comeback with us trying to teach it in public schools and stuff, but their language is disappearing slowly in culture, and it's really depressing. But, uh, they have their own dedicated TV station, the Mori Channel. And actually, my nieces have been watching episodes of Dora the Explorer in, um, the Mori language of Tereo. And it's really fucking weird listening to, like, a English show from, like, what I know, an English show teaching Spanish but it's dubbed in Mulry. So that's a very weird experience. Man, we go so much faster with these fucking shoes. Just fucking bolt. Barry Allen. Give me all my apricorns. Man, I remember playing like... Oh my god. I remember playing like the actual original silver. And like, to progress time, you actually had to play continuously. It didn't have the inbuilt clock. So like, I got maybe two special Pokeballs in the entire game because progressing time just didn't happen unless you played for a full 24 hours. It was also the same thing 
Me and my friend started at the same time, and we, I really liked Hoot Hoot. I'd like seen him in the show or whatever, and I was like, where's Hoot Hoot? This is the gen where he's supposed to show up. This is bullshit. And, like, six hours into us playing it, suddenly it's night time, and it's like, holy shit, Hoot Hoot's everywhere. And then I go back to play it for the first time, and, uh, for the second time, set the clock a little later so it's night time when I start, and Hoot Hoot's just on the first fucking route, and I feel like an idiot. But yeah, Silver was fucking good. I remember feeling so cheated when I went back to play, uh, when I went on to play Gen 3. Because, like, I finished Gen 3's, like, Elite 4 and stuff, and the post-game was just nothing. And it's like, what the fuck? In Silver, we got to go to a whole, to go back to Kanto, and there's just nothing? What? <laughs> But Silver and Gold and then Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they really just fucking blew it out of the park with these games and it's kind of been like, no game since has been able to top it. I guess black and white for some people, I could see them saying, no I prefer black and white because Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Gold and Silver really went in the all we keep everything direction as opposed to black and white which went in the it's all new direction. So if this is your first Pokemon game, it's just all new. All of the old stuff is locked behind at the end, so just you're getting an entirely new experience. Which I guess is something to be said for that, but I think Heart Gold and Soul Silver have the edge for me. But Black and White are probably up there for me. I'm gonna take another refreshing sip of Pepsi, because Pep, and also, my throat hurts real bad. Ah, Pep. I probably will treat my Pokemon with love and care. I mean, I, I did kind of name it Stemosaurus, which is just a, just awful. But Pep, Pep thinks Stemosaurus is the fucking best name. Like, she goes into battle and it's like, go, Stemosaurus, and it's just fucking psyched. Oh, what is it? It's a disaster? Oh no! We must run, Stemosaurus, to victory! Ah, oh, shit. Demosaurus! Murder! Just gives the command, Murder! Execute Order 66! Tackle the shit out of that hoot! It's weird, because like, I feel like I've been avoiding fights as much as possible, but I'm already at like, level 8. I was like, eh, it might actually kind of be a hard fight against the Syndical, and then I looked at my level and I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. I was meant to use Tackle, but screw it anyway. Run, 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 run. 
Yeah, we'll just avoid all this grass because we're already level 8. Stop in here just to get the PP back. We're kind of, I've noticed like through watching the TFS playthrough, I kind of try to go a lot faster than them, and I think that's just because I kind of treat this like, my audience has probably played all of these games before, so let's just get to the good stuff. And speaking of the good stuff, who is this dark and tall stranger? <sighs> you got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That Pokemon, that's too good for a wimp like you. His voice gets deeper and deeper with every sentence. Look at this fucking edgelord. Man, you know this guy has tasted alcohol before and seen a whole boob. Damn. This is the coolest kid in 8th grade. Now let's murder his dreams. Honestly, I feel like Silver is the best rival. Just cause of how much of a fucking dick he is, and they try to give him character development, and it's just so like, oh my god, this is great. Shit. Good, good hit. Even lower. <laughs> You're doing oak. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't keep doing that bit. That was stupid. Especially because my throat was already hurting. <coughs> While the edge lord's dead. <laughs> Are you happy you won? <laughs> now he sounds like the fucking cookie monster. You wanna know who I am? He just has a really fucked up voice. It says here you're a Mr. Edge Lord and you're eight years old? It also appears to be written in crayon. Oh no, it's a hoot hoot. What will we ever do? Tackle it to death. I'm trying to think already, like, what am I gonna name a hoot hoot if I catch it? And I'm already drawing a blank. What was Night Owl's real name? God, it's been, like, I, f I did I even read, yeah, I did read a Watchmen, I was, it was, yeah, it was good, um, I saw the movie first, um, but, like, the Watchmen movie, I didn't pay attention to the runtime, it was kinda like, I had, I saw it when I was 15 or so, and I had school the next day, I feel like I can, oh no, I can't heal with my mother, I've just got to go to the next thing. But I thought when I was 15, I had school the next day, and I put it on at like 11 o'clock at night. And this is when I just assumed, because I was 15, oh, every movie's about an hour and a half. So at like 1am, I realised, this fucking movie's still going. And it's then realised, oh shit, it's got an hour left. So then, I like stayed up to like 2.30 and I was like, I have to be up in like 4 hours for school, why did I do this? And that was my first experience with Watchmen. Whoever did it will come back to the- Man, you were a shitty police officer. I will have your fucking badge for this. A red-headed boy, Legasp. Could it have been 
Edgelord. I kind of just want to call him Edgelord. Edgar. Edgar Lord. Edgar. Is that how you spell Edgar? Is there some kind of symbol that could be like a lord? Like a crown? Alright, we'll just go with Edgar L. Edgar Lord. Perfect. Yeah, for some reason his last name was just like an initial on his driver's license or whatever the fuck that was. I mean, I don't know how the hell he would have got a trainer ID badge if he didn't have a Pokemon. Then again, I guess we get our trainer ID badge before we have a Pokemon, so... It's an egg. Professor Oak gave me a Pokedex? Gasp, it's almost like he hands them out to any fucking ten-year-old he comes across. Go on the champion quest to revive the old-fashioned Pokemon ways or whatever the fuck our anime thing is. I don't know, it's Pokemon, you get it by now. Just fucking run. Well, it seems like we've achieved a lot today. We got Stemosaurus. Stemosaurus. We put some pep in our step, and we are out of time. But thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Glyco Plays Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke Edition. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>